Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So I've got a bunch of updates in this video in regards to like the Bath and Body Works lotions that I ordered, as well as a lot of the Luxador oils. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna jump right in. So the first fragrance that we're gonna talk about is this beauty here. This is the original formulation of White Rabbit from Dreamhouse Curio. This was sent over to me by my beautiful friend and I adore this bottle. I cherish this bottle. It's definitely one of the gems in my collection. I took a trip to Georgia this past weekend to visit my beautiful friend Jacqueline, and this is the fragrance that I wore. I chose this one because I adore this. It's an absolute beast. I can smell it all day, and it's just a special perfume. So I knew I wanted to wear a special perfume to meet her, and um, this definitely fit the bill. And I knew I was gonna be gone all day, like it was gonna be a full day morning to night, which it was, and I knew that this perfume would get me through. This is a beautiful, sweet, syrupy, white floral that dries down to the most beautiful, kind of vanillic gourmand fragrance. I absolutely adore this perfume. It leans just a little bit vintage. It smells kind of like 90s. It's just amazing. It's an amazing fragrance and it's just a super special perfume to me. So anyways, that is Dreamhouse Securia White Rabbit. Okay, next I knew I wanted to wear my Sweet Petal Pound Cake Lotion from Bath & Body Works. This is Candied Rose, Raspberry Swirl, and Frosted Bunt Cake. This is an amazing scent. Um, I love this because it's not too heavy on the rose, but you can definitely smell the rose. It's like a creamy gourmand rose. I've been drinking this tea from, it's from a brand called Ticino, and they have this like whole mushroom line of teas, which mushrooms are so good for you, and I love them all, but the one that I have really been loving is, I can't remember which, I think it's a lion's mane, um, like it's a lion's mane tea, but it's got rose in it, it's beautiful. It's like this really, I don't even know, like creamy, but kind of earthy rose tea. This somehow reminds me of that, um, except this is sweet. And it's funny because it doesn't really smell like cake. It just smells, I don't know, it's a little bit too perfumey to actually smell like cake. And on the skin, it's just really, really gorgeous. Um, it's sweet and creamy, but it still has this beautiful kind of perfumey rose in it, but it's not too rose heavy. It's just gorgeous. I just love it. So anyways, I'm talking too long about this lotion. Um, it's so funny, you guys. I layered so many perfumes <laughs> over this. The first thing I did was I put on my Sweet Petal Pound Cake as a base, and then I haven't worn this perfume in so long. Somebody sent this over to me, and this is something I need to just work through it because Celebrity Scents, I don't, I'm, I'm just not totally sure how long you know, some of my celebrity scents will last. But this is the Paris Hilton Rose Rush. Um, it doesn't have like a cap or anything. Did somebody send this to me or I may have bought it or it may have been included in some kind of a bundle that I bought from Mercari. I can't totally remember. But it's a really beautiful, kind of sweet, fun, really, really fresh rose. It's gorgeous. I just knew that it was gonna layer over the Sweet Petal Pound Cake beautifully and it did. This was such a gorgeous combination. However, the Rosé Rush only lasted maybe like an hour and a half, two hours or so before this was completely gone. Um, and also it kind of took, because this is so sweet and fresh, it kind of took the creaminess out of the lotion. So I was like, well, I'm gonna add a little bit of the creaminess back. So I went and got my Acero oil. This is the Bang Acero oil. And this is Smells like Estero and smells like Bang mixed. It's amazing. It's like a, it's kind of like a sweet, light candy floss kind of fragrance. But then it's got a little, like a touch of the clean white musk or the clean kind of Egyptian musk. It's gorgeous. So I knew that this would kind of add back some of that sweetness and creaminess to the lotion which it did, and then it also added this kind of beautiful clean kind of vibe. So I went ahead and layered this on, but then the surprisingly, the lotion kind of overpowered this after a couple of hours. So I just kind of rolled with it and then eventually got to where I could really only smell the lotion. This is kind of a more delicate lotion. It's not 
like a super strong in your face kind of scent however it's very very present it's definitely like once you put it all over your body and especially if it's like warm it definitely radiates off of you it's just not like I don't know it's just not like a really really strong scent if that makes any sense but anyway so but this came back around and then this was all I could smell so then later on that evening, I was like, I, th I feel like I've got a solstice scent that's like a creamy rose. So I got into my solstice scents samples and I found this one here. This is rose mallow cream, which I knew I had ordered a sample of this. And so I was like, that's gonna be perfect over this sweet petal pound cake. So I pulled this out and I slathered it all over. Um, I used about half the sample and this is perfect. It smells really, really similar to the lotion. It's a little bit, this one's a little bit more rose heavy than the lotion, but it's still a gorgeous, like creamy rose scent. So this is actually like the ultimate combination. Um, Solstice Scents, Rose Mallow Cream, and then the Sweet Petal Pound Cake. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get back on the Bath & Body Works website um, and I'm hoping that they still have the body spray and the Sweet Petal Pound Cake. If they do, I'm gonna pick it up because I think it would just be like an amazing layering combination. The body sprays don't last very long, but I feel like if you put the, lo the lotion on as your base and then just kept reapplying the body spray every few hours, it would be amazing. So anyways, that is Sweet Petal Pound Cake from Bath & Body Works and then Rose Rush from Paris Hilton. Bangastero from Astero and Solstice Scents Rose Mallow Cream. I got crazy that day layering. Okay, next, um, I was so excited to wear this one. This is the Watermelon Mojito Body Cream from Bath & Body Works, and this is Watermelon Soda, Pink Rum, and Cane Sugar. This is amazing, you guys. This one, I was still nervous, even though I love, I love the way this one smells out of the tube but I was still really nervous that this was gonna smell weird or go like funky once it got on my skin. It didn't. It smelled exactly the way it does in the tube on my skin and I was so excited about that. Um, it does, after this starts to kind of dry down on your skin, this has the most beautiful kind of warm floral scent to it and I don't know where that's coming from because it doesn't say it's got any flowers in it, but I swear on my skin, it kind of ends up having this kind of beautiful warm floral scent and the watermelon kind of goes away, but it's it's such a beautiful lotion, but the watermelon sticks around for a good few hours. Like I smelled like this lotion for, I would say a good few hours. And then even after it dried down, it's still like the watermelon kind of faded. But like I said, it was this beautiful kind of warm, floral. I don't even know, but not overly floral or anything. It was gorgeous. It's a gorgeous lotion. I'm very, very happy with this one. Um, really surprised by it, actually. I did not expect this one to go well, and it really, really did. This is the first watermelon scent from Bath & Body Works that has really worked for me. After I had had this on all day, and I wore it by itself. I didn't layer a perfume over it because I don't have any like melon kind of scented perfumes. I don't really like melon in perfume. Um, so I just wanted this to, I just wanted to enjoy this scent by itself all day. After this kind of dried down when it got really towards the end of the day and this was really just kind of a warm, kind of nondescript floral, um, I put on my Luxador oils. This is the Valentino, Valentina Poudre scent and this is incredible. This is, this is probably, oh, it's hard for me to say. I don't know which one of those oils I would say is my favorite, but this is definitely in like the top three. Um, I love this. This is sweet and very, very powdery. Um, this is an absolute powder bomb. This is probably the mo my most favorite powder bomb perfume I've ever smelled in my life though. There's something about this sweetness and the powderiness, it is very powdery, but not like in a baby powder kind of way. Not in a sickening powder kind of way. I don't know, there's just, there's something about the powderiness in this. It's so powdery, 
but the powderiness is perfection. It makes you feel like you're some old Hollywood like vixen dressed up in like a baby pink negligee with like fur around your collar and wearing like little kitten heels that have a huge like fur or feather plume on them. That's what I'm saying, not fur, I should say feathers. Like you're wearing this beautiful like pink silk negligee with like feathers, you know, like a, almost like a feather boa around the collar or something and around your sleeves. That's what this smells like. It smells like old world, like old, beautiful Hollywood glamour or something. It's so funny because somebody commented on the video, on the Lux Store Oils video, Somebody commented that they had seen on, that they ha actually have a bottle of Valentina Poudre and that they saw on um, Fragrantica that people are comparing this to Hypnotic Poison. And she was like, it doesn't even at all smell like that. And it does not. I saw that too. And I was like, I don't, I feel like people have broken noses and they're the ones that are leaving, you know, they're the ones that are writing the reviews and that are, saying ridiculous things like that, like this smells like hypnotic poison. It's not even in the same galaxy as hypnotic poison. The only thing is they're both kind of powdery, but hypnotic poison is powdery in an almond way. This is powdery in like a powder way. It's not even close to hypnotic poison. So if you look this perfume up, don't pay attention to that because though I don't know who's even I, I like I can't even wrap my head around that. This is an amazing perfume though. These Luxador oils, every single one that I have tested is an absolute monster. <laughs> this one is no difference. I put this one on in the evening. I smelled like this until I took a shower the next day. And when I say smelled like this, smelled like this so strong, you would think that I had just applied it. Like when even when I woke up the next morning, you would think that I had just applied it. It's, I mean, they're just incredible. And I cannot believe the price tag on these. Anywhere from nine to $12. And you can get 10 of them for $90. So 10, 10 mil oils for $90, they're $9 a piece. They're amazing. I like, I cannot recommend these enough. But anyways, that is Valentino Valentina Poudre and it is phenomenal. I wore another Luxador oil and this is the Louis Vuitton Stellar Times one. Um, I don't have anything to compare this to because I've never smelled any of the actual Louis Vuitton fragrances. Oh my gosh, I love this one though. This one, it just says it's like an amber fragrance. It's such an incredible, like unique, warm, but kind of clean amber. It's stunning. I wish I could get it. I could find a note breakdown on this because there's something in it. There's something so like distinct in it, but I cannot put my finger on what it is because I don't think it's one note. I think it's a combination of a couple of notes that are making this scent that I've smelled before, but I cannot put my finger on it, but this is gorgeous. This is warm. I wore this in the heat too. This is, this is probably most definitely more of a cold weather fragrance, but I wore this in like 85, 86 degree weather and it was stunning. I enjoyed every second of it. And this thing is an absolute monster. Again, I put this on one time in the morning and I wore it all day, never applied anything else. Wore this until I took a shower the following day. I mean, I, not that I had a choice, like it was there until I took a shower the following day and washed it off. I mean, it was there forever, absolutely forever. It's such an amazing scent. So anyways, that is Louis Vuitton Stellar Times. Such a good one. Okay, next, um, again, when I went to see my beautiful friend, she sent me home with so many things. And one of the things that she sent me home with was this lotion. This is from EOS, and it is the Shea Butter 24-Hour Moisture Body Lotion in the scent called Vanilla Cashmere. It says that Vanilla Cashmere is whipped vanilla, soft musk, and cozy caramel. This is so amazing. I love this. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It does smell like a vanilla caramel combination. It's so good. This is like one of my favorite vanilla lotions I think I've ever smelled. It just smells 
delicious and yummy. And so I put this on and then I layered my Luxador Oils Vanilla Absolute from Montel or Vanille Absolute from Montel, which I have a bottle of Vanille Absolute as well. And I love it so much. And the oil is amazing. It's, it smells exactly like the perfume and it's just, it's so good. So this, it's pretty much just kind of like a simple sweet vanilla. It's, there's like nothing groundbreaking about it. What I love about it though, is it's a vanilla perfume that is an absolute beast. It lasts forever. The perfume, the Montel perfume or the oil, they're both incredible. They both last forever and they're so good. Um, and this combination was delicious. It was such an amazing, like yummy vanilla combination. Anytime I wear stuff like this, I will not want to wear anything else. Like I'll get on this kick where all I want is vanilla, yummy gourmand perfumes. So yeah, I have to like make myself wear other things because once I do a combination like this, I'm like looking for, I think the day, in fact, the day after I did this was the day that I wore the sweet petal pound cake. And then I was just looking for another gourmand fix, but like with rose instead. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, so that is the EOS, um, vanilla cashmere body lotion. I think she may have gotten this at Walmart and the Luxador Vanilla or Vanille Absolute Oil. Okay, and then next, I wanted to wear the um, Bath & Body Works Indigo Dreams. I feel like somebody told me, I don't know when this line came out, but I feel like somebody left a comment on one of my, on one of my videos telling me that this smelled like, like the Riddle Original Oil or Lake & Sky 1111. I feel like somebody told me that that's what this smells like. So Indigo Dreams is bergamot water, glowing amber, and warm musk. It's beautiful. I would say it smells more like the Riddle. Yeah, it definitely smells more like the original Riddle oil than it does like in Sky 1111. Um, it's gorgeous. I love this. It is a little bit of a lighter scent, so I feel like this wore off maybe after about the four to five hour mark, which is perfectly fine with me. Um, I love this. This is gorgeous. I'm so glad I picked this one up. The only lotion that I'm not super crazy about that I picked up is this sun, Sunshine and Suede or whatever that one is. I don't know why I pick up lotions or fragrances from Bath & Body Works that have berries in them because I typically don't like their berry notes. And that one has some kind of a berry in it that I don't love on my skin. Um, I haven't tried that one all over my body and I probably won't. I'm probably just gonna end up giving that one away. I just used it as like a hand lotion and I put it all over my arms. And yeah, it's just, there's something about the berry in it that I really don't like. But anyways, I'm so glad that I picked this one up. This one's a really gorgeous base for like any of my musk fragrances. Lake and Sky 1111, my Riddle oils, which I don't need a base for my Riddle oils because I've got like the spray lotion as well as the oil in that sense, but also smells like a Astero would be great over this. Like any beautiful kind of white musk clean fragrance is gonna layer beautifully over this. So that is the base that I used, Indigo Dreams from Bath & Body Works. And then I did layer my Lake & Sky 1111 over it. And as much as I want that lotion to smell like 1111, it doesn't. 1111 is my hands down my most favorite warm amber clean musk fragrance. There's something about this one that is special. I don't know. There, this one has like a coziness to it and a sweetness to it that the Riddle does not have, that smells like Astero doesn't have, that my Egyptian musk from Kumba Made doesn't have. This is similar, but this is special. There's something so special about this fragrance. I don't know, it's the best. It's an absolute beast too, it lasts forever, and it's just the best. And if you are ever gonna look into this fragrance, definitely pick up the oil over the spray perfume. The spray perfume does not last as long at all. It doesn't perform as well. It smells beautiful and I love it, but the oil is where it's at with this one. The oil is what lasts the longest and I feel like performs the best and I just love it. You can see you guys, I go through this like crazy because I love this scent so much. I'm almost halfway through this 
and I never go through perfume that fast because I've got so much um, but I love this one. But anyways, yeah, this, as much as I wanted this or the Indigo Dreams to smell like this, it just doesn't because 1111 is special. But it still was a beautiful combination and I loved it and I smelled amazing that day. Okay, and then last but not least, this is one that, that I just felt like I wanted to wear. I thought about it and I was like, I wanna wear Lancome Miracle. It smells so good, I love it. This is such an easy to reach for perfume. Um, it's so, it's like such a 2000s smelling perfume too. It's such a beautiful kind of clean, really, really easy to reach for perfume. It's a little bit floral, but it doesn't smell like a floral perfume. It's just bright and crisp and clean and perfumey smelling. It's beautiful. Like I said before, like when Lancome does a perfume well, they do it so well. And in my opinion, Miracle is done so well. I just love it. It just smells like a, it smells like a perfumey 2000s perfume. I just love it. It's a beast on me too. This one lasts absolutely forever. Um, my bottle is an older bottle, so I'm not, I'm not totally sure like what a new bottle of this would smell like. I think I've got, I think I've got a newer mini, so, I'll see if I, I think I do. I think I've got a newer mini of this. And I'll go ahead and try and test it next to this because yeah, like I said, this is an older bottle and it performs really, really well for me. And I just love this one. It's super easy to reach for a perfume that just lasts forever. So anyways, that is Lancome Miracle. And that is gonna be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.